Hey guys, um, let's check out how to set up uh, CryptoBat with uh, VRA for Houdini. So I have my scene where there is a um, couple of different streams of geometry uh, that are getting created by a couple of different copy to points nodes. So yeah, this is the point that um, you usually have multiple um, instancing sources and you want to be able to separate between them. Uh, and uh, the way that the scene goes is that there are there is a points generator, then there is one uh, geometry source that is uh, being uh, instanced with one copy to points with an um, a variance uh, type instancing and another copy to points which is getting another geometry in and using the same points but offset a little bit to generate a different geometry stream then these streams are getting merged together and you end up with some uh, uh, packed geometry so this is kind of a, uh, the bare bones of a um, workflow that you will find in an, in an actual scene in production so the point is to get uh, as much control as possible with this cryptomat so i have implemented this here in three, le three levels so the first level is uh, giving you the uh, different cryptomat for each of the different geometry streams so if you have different instancing operations uh, like i have two operations in here uh, merged together it doesn't matter if you have you know uh, two or uh, 202 uh, so this uh, level gives you uh, the separation between the different geometry operations. Then this level gives you the separation between each geometry shape inside each of these levels. So you can see that uh, here the, all the tori have one cryptomat and all the boxes have another cryptomat. So if you want to be able to control, to, to, to kind of just pick up the boxes, you can do that. Or like each one of these individual shapes in here. And then the last one is the one by path, which is uh, just splitting off each individual shape. So if you want exactly this shape and nothing else, you can pick that up. So uh, the way that this is, is set up, uh, first the instancing, I'm not just gonna go through because that's not the point in here. The uh, important thing is that at the end, you have some uh, objects that are getting instanced uh, with the packet instance. Oops, sorry. Turn this on here. So packed and instanced, and we end up with just the points for each packed geometry. Okay, so to get the first level in here working here, I use the name node. So I just give them a name, and this is uh, now giving name for all of the uh, primitives in this whole stream. So this would be these uh, towers in this case, and on the other side, have another name for all the geometry in that other stream. And then I have an enumerate node, which uh, I use in string mode. It's important because Cryptomat uses string attributes. And uh, it's enumerating with the prefix of that uh, name, basically, and the um, number after that. So it's creating this hierarchical style, style path, like you can see here. Uh, now, of course, this could be prefixed with something else. Uh, if you have a, a deeper hierarchy, you might want to put it in a certain place in that hierarchy. And similar thing on the other side. Um, at the end, I turn the uh, variant attribute into a string. So I do have the variant on the points as an integer attribute, just because here I have um, used the instancing from integer att attribute, um, variant attributes, just because, you know, integer is easy to create randomly. Uh, and I use this most of the time rather than uh, use the string uh, variant, just because of the randomness and you, you could uh, get the ranges uh, easily and so on. But because the integer attribute will not work with Cryptomat, I turn it to a string and I use the string attribute uh, for the Cryptomat settings. So eventually in the um, ROPnet, there is um, render elements, VOP, and here there are, there are three Cryptomats just being set with the three different user attributes. And it's important to keep uh, in mind that Cryptomat requires the bucket sampler. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I think the only other important thing is that um, it doesn't work with packed fragments, so you need to, your geometry to be in packed juice mode. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you guys. Again, nice, beautiful crypto mats. And see you soon.